All right, you groovy cats. It's time for a Star Wars Force Fact. Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the channel Star Wars Force Facts, where we give you all sorts of wild facts about Star Wars and the Force. I'm your host, Adam McGahee. Before we hop into this video, we are on the road to 100 subscribers, so be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Without further ado, let's hop right into this. General Grievous, the feared leader of the droid army and well-known lightsaber collecting enthusiast, is probably one of the most well-known and most meme characters out of the Star Wars prequel trilogy. He was first introduced in the now non-canon cartoon Clone Wars series back in the early 2000s, popularized in Revenge of the Sith, and then fleshed out more in the canon computer animated Clone Wars series. He has one of the coolest designs out of all the Star Wars characters, and his cybernetics were actually an inspiration and foreshadow for the cybernetics used to transform Darth Vader into the black armored appearance that we have all come to know and love him for. Besides being able to wield four lightsabers at a time, one of the most defining characteristics of Grievous is his signature cough. When mainstream audiences first saw him in Revenge of the Sith, he had the cough right away and there was no explanation as to why he had it. For those who watched the original Clone Wars series, fans would have known that he had the cough due to an encounter with Mace Windu, which led the Jedi Master to crushing the droid commander's chest. As mentioned previously, however, that series is now no longer canon. So today's Force Fact will focus on the canon reason as to why General Grievous coughs just oh so much. Where did the cough come from? In order to understand why Grievous has the cough, we must understand a little bit of his backstory. General Grievous was not always the four-armed skeletal cyborg that we all know him for. He was actually an alien known as a Kalish and grew to be a feared warlord on his planet. His people were at war with the aliens known as the Yamri and it was during this war that the Galactic Republic sided with the Yamri, causing Grievous to develop an intense hatred of the Republic and ultimately the Jedi. Later on in his life, Grievous was in a gruesome shuttle crash that nearly killed him and greatly destroyed much of his original body. In order to save himself, Grievous opted to get extreme cybernetic upgrades to his body which made him a much more formidable warrior. Seeing how much these cybernetics improved himself, Grievous got more and more until he was nearly 100% droid and thus gained his appearance that he displays in Revenge of the Sith. In fact, all that remained of his original body were his eyes, brain, some vital organs, his spinal cord, and a small amount of flesh that can be seen around his eyes. One of the vital organs that remained were his Kalish lungs that were protected by a layer of armor and synthetic skin. However, due to all the cybernetic upgrades he received, Grievous' lungs became infected and irritated, thus leaving him with the cough that he had for the rest of his life until Obi-Wan Kenobi graciously cured him of it permanently. And that is a brief backstory as to why General Grievous had his infamous cough. Did you know this about General Grievous? Which cough origin do you prefer? Mace Windu crushing his chest or him developing an infection from all his robotic parts? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.